This is a Squire Affinity Stratocaster in sexy Torino red. Um, this one was in a pawn shop and <laughs> when I looked at the price tag it said 39 euro and I thought well you know you won't get much for that. Um, body was full thickness. Um, it is from 1996 uh, made in China and uh, just very very curious um, even though I swore I wouldn't buy any squires this year um, you know I've broke one of my own resolutions so let's plug it in check it out um, strip it down and investigate it and see if it's any good okay uh, plugged into my Fender Super 210 old tube everything's up full this is the um, bridge pickup. Um, I think there's nines on it. I think there's somebody's put new strings on it. I hate nines. This is the um, middle and bridge. Down and see what it's actually made of. Okay, um, you got your typical um, six screw bridge, um, but here you see um, this kind of die cast saddles. Um, not very attractive. I prefer this fender um, bent steel to be honest with you. Um, three ceramic pickups, um, five way switch, which is very stiff. Um, this is a one ply um, pick guard. You'll notice that there's 22 frets on the fingerboard. I don't know what the body is yet. Um, is it plywood? Is it um, a solid? Time will tell as we investigate further. Right, the headstock um, Squire Strat by Fender. Um, it's the black type. Uh, I think these are early China production. Um, you can see the affinity over here. Vintage string posts. The back of the machine heads here. Um, they're C A N. Cheap and nasty. Um, these are not very good. Um, even the cheap pink types are still miles better. Neck is quite pale as rosewood necks go, but I'm going to treat that with some Danish oil. Frets are quite small, um, just normal I'd say. They don't, they don't look like vintage frets but they're a little step above them. But they're not medium jumbos by any stretch. Okay, serial number um, YN6, uh, made in China. This is your typical Strat back plate. And um, as I remove it. Um, half arsed tremolo block, um, three springs. There is still no indication what the body is actually made from. Um, looks like somebody's already maybe chiseled a bit off here just to check. Um, these are finished in um, a poly, and there's actually a pretty thick resin underneath that as well. Okay, I'm going to remove the strings so I can take the neck and Touch plate off. Neck looks pretty dry, so I'm going to throw some Danish on it. Just a little bit, not too much. Um, I'm 
I don't want to smother it in it. Plus it kind of cleans the neck. The fingerboard. Takes that dry look off it. Next I'm going to remove the neck. What my good old IKEA drill driver. Okay, it's clear to see here, January 1997. Um, I don't know what this means. In the neck pocket, January 1997. Um, you can see a line going across there, um, which to me looks like it's a solid and not um, laminated or ply. So uh, yeah, that's one kind of good thing. Um, play always reeks of cheapness to me. Um, so yeah, um, also with the full thickness, uh, same as um, a US uh, fender. So there we go. So it's probably two, three pieces. Next, um, let's remove the uh, guard. Oh, here you go. Pots aren't that small. The um, wires are tiny, and you can see the uh, bar magnets. Yeah. Switch looks actually good enough. It's metal with. Um, Oh, it's quite good. It's not not doesn't look very cheap. It's not plastic. Um, what's it made by? Y, K, E. Yeah, um, five hundred K pots. Yeah. So there you go. Looks all original. It's got a semi swimming pool. <laughs> This just came apart here, just snapped off. Um, <laughs> further proof that the uh, guitar is not ply. Uh, and you can see slight difference in colouring here from the two pieces. The lower piece is a little bit more buttery in colour than the other piece. So, there you go. Um, just glue this back on. <laughs> That's funny. It's never seen that happen before. But proof it's not plywood. Jack socket is really cheap. Um, I've seen more still. So I've glued the uh, little chip back down with some wood glue. Um, can't help noticing how aged the actual um, pick card has become. Um, as you can see here, that looks white, and this is really butter color yeah so it's authentic okay it's um, all reassembled and ready to be restrung just want to show you um, these uh, machine heads are not good uh, they're pretty cheap um, they wear out very quickly um, definitely worth replacing because these are just junk Okay, so um, set of tens, all cleaned up, shined up, and ready for action. Um, this is the um, bridge. Bridge and middle. 
standards? No. Are they as good as the US? No. Um, this is one of the early Chinese um, production runs so the thing is it's not going to be you know an amazing guitar. The new Chinese ones are very good um, but this is one of the early ones and uh, yeah so taking it for what it is uh, you know it's playable. <laughs> That's a bit of fun. Um, plus, I love red guitars. I like the way it's chipped as well. So yeah. Um, well, told you the jack plug is rubbish. Um, for what it is. Uh, I don't think you can beat it really. Um, I played worse, and the new affinities are really thin. Uh, and you know, I wouldn't go upgrading the pickups, and I certainly wouldn't do anything with it. I think the Fender steel saddles would probably be nice, and decent tuning heads, although these are in tune. Um, but that's about it, really. Um, you know, no point trying to turn it into um, some amazing axe because it's not. It's just, it's a cheap guitar. And that's the way you want to keep it from messing around with. So thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel. Take care.